Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to A Wonderful Sheep. Today I've got another paint on cardboard with me video. And if you're new here, I like to share my adventures in arts and crafts and stationery here in Seoul, South Korea. And the past few weeks I've been painting on cardboard boxes, specifically painting positive, inspiring, or feel-good stories from the coronavirus outbreak onto the cardboard boxes. Maybe if you're like me, and probably most of the rest of the world, you've been getting a lot more packages delivered to your house instead of going out, and so I just started taking advantage of this free material, these cardboard boxes, and I've been using poster paints, student grade poster paints, and acrylics, really inexpensive acrylics, to just let myself enjoy the act, the meditative process of really loading up a brush with paint and um, spreading it all over the cardboard. Uh, it's nice to use the inexpensive paints because I don't feel nervous about wasting nice supplies. And I've kept the paintings fairly simple up till now. This is the most complicated piece I've done to date. Which is a good introduction to what I'm painting. Today's video was inspired by the On Post, which is the postal service in Ireland. And I have to thank my fellow collage artist Anne Heffernan for sharing the news. Anne does really lovely pieces and series with collage and stop motion, and she shared this bit of news on her Instagram. So you should definitely check out her Instagram, I'll link it below as well. So like I said, the inspiration for today's painting is the Irish Postal Service called On Post. And last month they revealed this new community support program they were starting where the On Post delivery staff would be checking in with the older and vulnerable people along their delivery routes, at least once a week. And they'll also pick up the mail of people who are housebound so they can mail it for them. And the Postal Service also delivered free postcards with postage, prepaid postage, for people to write to their loved ones. I think their campaign is called Right Now Send Love. And so millions of free prepaid postage postcards were delivered to homes and also facilities like prisons and nursing homes for people to express their love to people, to their loved ones who they couldn't immediately see right now, which I thought was a really great initiative and I hope people are taking advantage of it. And it hits home because if you've been around this channel or my Instagram, you know that I love snail mail. It's one of my hobbies. I love sending postcards and sending cards and I've loved it since I was a kid. So snail mail and the postal service have always been close to my heart. So I especially really liked this story. So it's the next day and overall I think it just looks messy and it looks dark to me. So I think I'm gonna try to lighten it up, which will be hard because I have to paint around all these envelopes, but I'd like to make it a little more bright and maybe add some flowers or a little rock here, maybe. Um, so hopefully it'll turn out better. If not, here's a record of what it looked like before I made those changes. Now as for this piece, I deliberately chose to challenge myself and try to do a full scene. And originally I did some sketches of like drawing an actual postal worker delivering mail to houses, but I didn't have the confidence to paint like a human person with these poster paints on cardboard and have it turn out not looking like a monster. <laughs> I think I could make a reasonably human looking person with watercolors or sort of a more delicate medium, but I'm still getting used to working with poster paints and I decided to have the postal truck delivering mail and I think the idea of the like floating letters came from my first paint on cardboard piece where I had like floating hearts coming out of a piggy bank. I think I wanted that same sort of energy of like love being spread so I had the envelopes 
coming out of the exhaust pipe, which is unusual, but it could work in some ways. For example, as I've been looking up the on post, I see they have this like zero emissions initiative going on, sort of a zero carbon thing. So instead of emitting greenhouse gases, <laughs> the exhaust pipe is emitting letters of love. All right, here is the final result for now. It took three days and I think I'm happy with it for now. I'm glad I added the little fields of dandelions. It covered up what I was not liking about the grass and I added just enough details so you can see that it's on post and that's it. <laughs>